Now that we've learned a bit about entities, let's go ahead and use the tooling to create some. In the section on entities, we learned that there are two ways to create them. One, we can import them from a CSV file, and two, we can create them from the UI. We also learned that there is a built-in set of system entities. In this section, we'll see how you can use the Watson Conversation tooling to both import and create entities, as well as use system entities. Let's get started. Let's open our conversation test workspace. And let's select the Entities tab. Here we see we have no entities yet. Let's prepare to import some. Let's open our entity CSV file. Remember that each row represents an entity value. It starts with the entity name, followed by the value, followed by a list of synonyms. OK, let's go ahead and import our entity's CSV file. Click Import, open the Finder, and drag Entity CSV onto the File Chooser dialog. And finally, press Import. We can click on the entity to reveal the entity examples. And you'll notice these values and synonyms match the contents of our CSV file. Let's try it out. As you can see, Watson is still training, so we'll wait for it to complete and give it a try. Great, it's done. Let's try typing, I'd like to know about Zion. As a side note, the tooling represents entities in blue and intents in green. Let's get back to the output. Here we see our entity detector detected the synonym Zion and resolved it to the National Park's entity with the value of Mount Zion. And note that we also picked up the tell me about intent. OK, so far we've seen how to create new entities by importing from a CSV file. Let's now see how we can create new entities using the Create New button. I'm going to press the Create New button. I'm prompted for the entity name. We'll create a new one called Wildlife. And we'll add a new value for Fauna. And the synonym Animals. And we'll create a new entity value Flora. And a synonym Plants. We'll add that. And we'll hit Create. If we now expand our new wildlife entity, we'll see the two new entity values and their synonyms. And as you might expect, Watson is now retraining our entity detector using our new changes. OK, great. Watson is done training. Let's try two new utterances. We'll start with, tell me about the animals. From the tooling output, we can now see that Watson's detected animals from the user input. It's been identified as the entity wildlife with an entity value of fauna. We've now seen how to import and create new custom entities. The Watson Conversation service also provides a set of entities out of the box, system entities. Let's check them out. To locate the system entities, click on the System Entities submenu under Entities. Here you'll notice that there are a number of entities available. There's the Sys Time, which will extract time mentions. Some examples are at 10, 10.30, now. There's the SysDate system entity, which is able to extract dates like Friday, today, etc. SysCurrency, SysPercentage, and SysNumber. We can activate these individually, or you can enable them all. Once activated, Watson will begin training, and once done, we can begin to make use of them. OK, Watson's done training. I'm going to clear our conversation history. And let's try one of the system entities. What is the weather today at Yellowstone? Notice that Watson has identified a number of items. It picks up today in Yellowstone as entities. At the bottom, we see exactly how they're represented. It picked up the sysdate entity with a value of today, which is December 26th, 2016. It also picked up the entity National Parks with an entity value of Yellowstone. In this section, we focused on the Watson Conversation Service tooling for entities. We learned how to import and create entities, and we also learned how to activate and use the system entities.